um, we've managed to reduce the number of accidents compared to the same period, or the number of people who have died compared to the same period. That is by about 400 uh, people. Uh, it's very sad that uh, we should be here to be saying we saved f or we reduced by 400 people. We, any person, any uh, person dying, these are not just mere statistics. These are, as you ca you've seen from the story that was aired, um, it's somebody's father, somebody's child, somebody's mother, somebody's relative, parents. And uh, the 3,999 3, is a reduction, a, small, a slight reduction of 8.1% from last year. But, uh, and we hope that the efforts we put in place have been able to reduce these numbers, especially in so far as uh, civic education, uh, in so far as uh, road markings, and the efforts that have also been put in place by uh, PSV vehicles, uh, particularly in terms of managing their fleet and their drivers and behavioral change. Yeah. But I can tell you for sure that the biggest challenge we are facing in the road uh, 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 traffic and particular road accident, road carnage, road crashes, is actually in the border border sector. As you've seen from the statistics, you realize that, uh, if I may refer again, it's 1,000, um, yes, it's 1,062 this year. Mm -hmm. Last year it was almost 1,005, it was 1,163. Now today is 1,062 motorcyclists who have been killed. Mm -hmm. And the pillion passengers they were carrying are about 363. And then pedestrians that have been knocked. Uh, if you look at the list of the pedestrians uh, this year, you realize that 1,451. Yeah. So between pedestrians and, uh, and, uh, and the motorcyclists and the pillion passengers, yeah. you realize that that is nearly 3,000 of the figures, it's actually 2,000, almost 800 uh, of the numbers, yeah. leaving uh, the rest to be drivers and the rest of the people uh, to, uh, who have uh, died in accidents to be a cyclist. Now, we have a biggest challenge in the motorcycle sector because motorcycle sector is, should be largely regulated at the county level yeah. because these are transport uh, systems of last mile. But you realize that, for example, in the city here, most of them are applying uh, the highways, uh, you know, and uh, operating in routes that actually should, should only be operated by motor vehicles, including, so what is the plan to including highways. For, for that reason, uh, we have been working hard to make sure that we, first of all, do civic education. Unfortunately, that is the, the first thing, because most of these people are ignoring uh, usual traffic rules. The next is enforcement, and this enforcement requires a combination between the NTSA itself and the police sector. And uh, we've tried, uh, including uh, the county governments, because Nairobi county government also has a bigger role in terms of that enforcement.